Hola, gracias. Ah, it's me. How do we talk about these things? So a while back, I had this epiphany. You can't work like you're going to live forever. Not with everything that goes on in the world. If anything, the killing of George Floyd has taught me and the killing of so many countless other black people has taught me that I cannot, I can't put things off to forever to just try and be the best at everything. So I started to think, I started to think about my grandfather, my abuelito, and it gave me these, these feels. He was this really tall, wonderful man. And he did a lot of things for other people. He repaired things, and he was just a nice guy. He really loved his family. So, in that, I think I've figured out some new creative ways to do things. I want to really give to the beautiful things around me. And I also just like help in the best way I can. Because that's important. What I'm thinking is, I want to think of a new business strategy. I want to try and work on merch. I think maybe I need to figure out a better way to have a more passive business strategy. Being a painter by far is the most passive way to make money. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Uh, no, but I, I want to, I want to try and work on a bunch of shirts. I want to do some prints. I want to do posters, postcards, and stuff like that. I still want to paint, but I want to... I want to figure out a way to keep myself going without... just stopping all the time. I love making, but there are moments when I take breaks. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna take a break. I'll see you in a little bit. So when I say this, I mean, I'm still going to be making. I'm always making. But, I'm not gonna be so hard on myself. I'm not gonna feel like I'm not doing something if I'm not constantly putting something out for the public. Because the weird thing is I'm always creating things. I just don't always share them. A friend of mine once told me it's really hard to recreate the world while well, everyone's watching. Hola, Gladys. <laughs> it is me, Shora Blake. So, I've been talking to a bunch of you, and you've been saying how you've been missing my videos, which is actually very sweet. Um, I had this interesting discussion with a friend of mine who said, well, several of my friends, actually, but one specifically said, everybody loves your podcast, which made me smile. 
and your videos are cool, but your videos are nothing like your podcast. And I thought about that, and I was like, maybe that's what I've been missing, you know? Like, I, I enjoy doing the podcast more, honestly, than I enjoy doing the videos at some point. And so, maybe I need to figure that out. Figure direction. Go in some way that's more kind of reflective of the ideas or even the narrative aspect of my podcast. So, here's my shot. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm like walking on this edge of this idea. And once I get there, it's going to be this really kind of funky, cool, smart idea. And so that's, that's what I'm going for. Funky, cool, smart idea. <laughs> I don't know. It's been an interesting week. I've been running around trying to get as much done as humanly possible. And, of course, like all things, I am starting to kind of teeter out a little bit. Because, <laughs> you know, working nonstop is very difficult. I did find it funny, though. I've recently kind of run across a lot of photography that I've been doing. Um, and a lot of paintings that I've been sharing. And, funny enough, I've been getting a lot of recognition for stuff recently. Which, I guess, shouldn't be as shocking as it feels. But it is. And it's, it's just nice. It's nice to see so many people sharing and liking and doing stuff. Also, I made a, made a new shirt. I thought it was pretty cool. No one looked at it. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm sure I'll sell some eventually. Or, you know, someone will say something. But whatevs. Tis life. Tis life. Um, got a bunch of masks. Doing a bunch of stuff with those. So that's going to be fun. And, uh, you know, middle of the night walking the dog. Normal, everyday, Juara shit. <laughs> As it is well known. Um, let me see. Got into Cthulhu. Oh, I'm sorry. War. I can never say it right. Lovecraft Country. Which is about the, the Cthulhu books type of thing. Well, it's about... Not really about the Cthulhu books. It's about... Lovecraft, the writer, and all the stories. Which I did not know he is a vehement racist. Or he was. He's dead. So, it's interesting. I'm really starting to kind of understand some new concepts. Or getting into new concepts. Not understanding them. I'm kind of wrestling with them. Taking them on full burst. And naturally, you know, the anime obsession is always there. Picked up HBO Go. Alec and I are excited because they have the entire Studio Ghibli catalog on there. So it's like all the classic great animes. Tom and Mochi are well. Mall's good. Alec's doing okay. And hopefully you're okay. So we'll see. Many adventures. Many things to come. All gonna be great. <laughs>